Hello everyone and welcome back to our fifth episode of the Stalker Gamma Invictus run. Last episode, we started moving south again, uh, did some missions around garbage, went through agroprom, did some missions, got a stash or two there as well, and we ended up in the Great Swamps in the Clear Sky base. Today, uh, oh yes, we also managed to find uh, a good condition barrel Mosin. And we also stashed a few good weapons at the north checkpoint and garbage. Today, what we will do is we'll start moving upwards towards Agroprom. We actually finished uh, the mission for, for finding Strelok. The Living Legend mission, first one, in the Great Swamps uh, in the last episode. And today we will head to the Agroprom Underground and uh, we'll find uh, Strelok's hideout. This should not be hard, we'll enter from here. And the hideout should be just around the corner, although we may have to fight some, some uh, angry mutants over there. If everything goes well, and we also have about 30,000 credits, well, credits, rubles. <laughs> we will head up into Yantar and uh, get our Psy helmet from Professor Sakharov. And if we also manage to get some slugs for our shotgun, we may actually go through wild territory, although it's a bit risky, so we'll see how that goes. All right, for now, uh, in-game I see it's uh, 6.36, and we don't actually have a flashlight, which will be our main prior priority right now. We do have one broken flashlight. I'll just disassemble these. So, if we manage to find another one, we should be able to uh, create one, although we do not have basic tools on hand, so... It might just be an idea to buy one off of Spore. Let's also sell these. Anything that, that's a bit too heavy for us to carry, we'll try and sell right now. This as well. You know what? Should be good. And I will take this just because... Getting a broken flashlight is 2,000, and uh, we also need capacitors and transistors, I think, for it, which we don't have right now, so uh, let's just not bother with it. Okay, as always, let's check the task board uh, and see what we can uh, turn in, maybe. I will probably check my inventory with every mission, just because uh, my my memory is not that good, <laughs> so I don't remember what I have uh, have on me. You know what? I'll just turn in the drug making kit right now for a little bit of uh, cash, so I don't carry it around with me for for so long. Uh, we won't give snork hands right now. I still need to gather 8 for hip. So we'll, we'll uh, hold on to those. Alright, how are we on meds? I will need sleeping pills. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a bit too much. Can we sell anything? No, I think that's it. I can actually drop the glow sticks as well. Another 600. We have two morphines, so I can sell that. And... Um, and one Hercules. Perfect. Okay, let's equip our headlamp. Uh, 
And on we go. Okay. There's a stash here, so we could just uh, go and grab the eggheads, the ecologist mission from here. We won't do it right now because we don't uh, really have any um, artifact hunting gear. But it's, it's one less place to visit next time. I wanted to ask you guys a question, if, if you know uh, the mechanics better. What I wanted to ask is uh, the stamina drain. I do know there's a threshold for, for carry weight. Um, usually when you reach about uh, a bit less than the max, I think, the text turns yellow. I, I thought the stamina drain only happens, the extra stamina drain only happens when, when the text turns yellow. And then it, go, it gets crazy when, it, uh, when you go over the max. But uh, is it just me or does stamina also drain uh, when you get close to, to the weight limit? Because I do feel like carrying eight, almost 80 kilos now drains my stamina a bit faster than, than usual. Speaking of which, I will pop a coffee pill just because it does give that little bit of a stamina regen boost. It's not a lot, but it it will help. Oops. Now it will be getting dark soon. And I'm kind of on the fence if I wanna uh, find a place to sleep. Or if I should uh, try and keep going through the swamp. Okay, we actually have documents, which... Where do I need to turn these in? No idea. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll get there when we get there. Alright. Hello, Professor. I'll get your shiny dirt. Let's see if these guys have any missions on that we can finish real fast. I'll take this one. It may just finish on its own. Documents in Agroprom, sure, that's a free stash. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, here's the guy I had to take the documents for. So let's just go turn that in. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I mean, just look at it. I still find it amazing how how basically what it's it's almost a ten year old game and how amazing amazing it can look and how how great the guys who made the mods uh, made it it's just jaw dropping especially sunsets and uh, sunrises they're just so beautiful. And I'm, I'm not even running the best graphics, so this is like middle of the road and just look at it. Okay, since I'm here, you know what, I'll just, I'll just go back to the swamp base. I could go and try and get those mutants. Although if I see I grab the attention of the guys in the, in the pumping station, I'll pull back really fast, because I don't want to fight 20 renegades right now. The 
shotgun's okay for dealing with unarmored targets, but it, it's got its limits, and I will probably come back and do these missions, but I will do them when, you, when I have a proper long-range weapon. Until then, let's see what we gotta hunt. Looks like a flesh over there. Come on. Oh, it's got friends. Okay. And back to the swamp we go. I mean the base. Alright, and here we are. Just gonna turn in this mission real quick, and then... Uh, we'll take some sleeping pills and just go to sleep. Maybe in the morning we can get a few more missions that we can just turn in for, for free. What we have on us. Because, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I really want to take the risk of going out into the swamps at night. We'll sleep till 7, and that should be just enough to get some good light in the morning. Okay, here we are. Have a quick drink of water. And let's see if there's anything worth looting around here. Okay, it's not much, but it's something. I mean, every little bit counts at this point. And uh, whatever is under 60%, I'll just sell. Uh, except these. But I will sell the wood and the metal just because they're, they're pretty heavy. So... Okay, and the ammo, mark this as favorite. And we have another 10k. Do you have any Mosin parts? Do I have any Mosin parts? <laughs> oh, don't laugh, dude. Not that good. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Okay, let's disassemble this. And, as always, we'll do a quick task board check. Hmm, what's this? Alright, go to the coordinates and... Uh, I'm guessing it's a free stash. Again. Which I'm all for. More free stashes, please. It, where are these mutants? Yeah, we we might get to these ones here, but I definitely won't go there. It's too close to the pumping station, so let's just carry on our way. Gonna have a little food on the way. And another drink. And let's make sure our weapons are loaded. I'll switch the pistol to uh, FMJ just because uh, 
I probably don't want to use the shotgun on uh, just random stalkers. Currently I'm considering if it's it would be worth taking a Hercules just to get there faster. Right now I would hold on to it just so I can make um what was it? Epinephrine. Which is my favorite drug. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I mean, let's go this way and uh, maybe we can... What are you shooting at? Okay, it looks like there's a... There's a renegade there. Okay, let, let's not hang around more than we need to. I could wait until our guys kill it, but I, I don't think it's worth the wait. Renegades usually don't have the best gear. Oh wow, another one. <laughs> and an ejector for the SV-98. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I do hear dogs over there to the east. And gunshots from right over this hill. Oh, I think they're there in the town. Just loot these dogs here and Ooh, artifact. Torpus. That's that's nice. If we end up going to Yantar, we might actually sell whatever artifacts we got. And there's uh also the mutants over there. Oh boy, I can see the renegades from here. Looks like flashes. So if I would hit them. <laughs> One. I know I'm taking rats, but if I hang out in the water, they won't uh, reach me. All right, got this one as well. Uh. Let's let's head to the left and up. I don't really want to go to that village. It's it's not worth the risk right now. So straight to the north. We'll smoke some cigarettes, I guess. Okay, I hear cats. Which, as long as I can see them coming, it should be good. Usually one one blast of the shotgun. Crap! Holy crap, grenades and shit. I have no idea what faction those guys were. Was that the rocket launcher? <laughs> oh no 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 run 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 <laughs> Please I don't have time for you
I heard something to the right. I have no idea what it is. And I think I'm still being chased by the other guys, so... Regen a little bit. Take our ibuprofen. Oh, I hope they don't get to me. Shit. Shit. I got no idea what that is, but I, I don't want to be here. those footsteps or is it an anomaly oh they're still coming I'm I'm not sure, but I could swear I, I saw a little uh, black dot fly across m my screen and then an explosion, and I don't think it was a grenade because it flew straight. Although I don't think anyone should have rocket launchers here. <laughs> Okay, here we are, safe and sound, although this this passage into Agroprom from the Great Swamps is always uh, a little bit scary. Oh, I know what that is. That's probably an artifact that keeps bouncing between, uh, between gravity anomalies. Yep. Oh, this is so risky. Yeah, nah. It's it's not worth it now. I don't think it is. Oh, that's a lot of rats. Okay, I think I heard the cat. Okay, let's let's just make a run for it. Always take care when crossing these lines. That electric anomaly you just saw to the right is uh um it travels across the lines. And uh even with good uh, electrical resistance, it's usually a one shot. Oh, I, I have another question. The big speakers in uh, this military base and in um, uh, damn it, I forgot what it's called <laughs> in Rostock. Is there a way to disable them? I, I already have uh, radios of the zone turned off and that helps with uh, with the radios uh, at uh, Barman and um, uh, other small radios, but uh, oh, calm down! I'm not doing anything. But uh, I, I, I don't think it turns off the speakers. I mean, it doesn't. And uh, I, I generally don't have a problem. Most of the music they play is amazing. I grew up with it. No. Uh, but YouTube doesn't really like it <laughs> sometimes, and I would prefer to avoid any any issues with that.
So if you guys have, have any tips on how to turn them off, or if you know of maybe of a no. mod that does yes, it, uh, it would be really great. Right, we finished our job. Two jobs. And we got a stash in the Great Swamp. Which is great, we just came from there. Uh, oh, we already have the documents mission. Ooh, an emission. Okay, I'm gonna head to the big building. Step aside, thank you. And I'll also do a little save here, just because uh, the last time I had an emission, uh, and I'm coming clean now, I actually did this part before yesterday. And uh, after two hours of recording and two crashes during this exact emission, and two more hours of recording in which uh, my uh, video software crashed when saving the file, <laughs> I just gave up. So I, I reloaded from, from the Great Swamp. <laughs> Always love going out right after an emission. And we can also pull our detector out. Because uh, emissions usually respawn the artifacts. And a lot of the times you just get artifacts in, in like, everywhere. Okay, this one's probably going to be right here in the center. Oh! Moss. That's cool. Okay, what other missions did we have? We can take that stash. And then I think we'll head right over to Agroprom. We got a shotgun, we got a flashlight. We should be good. And while I go down down under, I think I'll also drop some of the maybe the gun and the upgrades in the stash here. We're getting a bit of radiation. Okay. Um I mean, just take everything. I'll even... I can't. Okay, and let's put back some of the stuff we don't need to take with us to the underground. Just to make ourselves a little bit lighter. I'll take the sausage. Oh, we actually got a pretty cool upgrade kit. Okay. What else? We can drop the meat, we can drop all of these, I think I... Okay. Um, and... And we'll just come back and take those uh, when we're done. Yep. Okay. All in all, no, no, not a bad stash. Oof, okay. Just, just, uh, uh. Let's, let's, let's just go. I was, I was gathering my willpower there. Okay, here we are. So, as you saw, I talked, I took the, the entrance to the south of the base. That's because if you go down this stairwell and pass this anomaly here, it's always a bit scary. That anomaly, sometimes you can just walk over it, sometimes uh, it, it will murder you. Oh no. Okay, so we have a Bure.
and it also sounded like Nope. Where is the little... Oh crap. Oh, and Tushkanos from the back. Oh, I... I didn't even see that anomaly. I, I was really close to death there. Okay, so as I was saying, <laughs> coming this way, ooh, uh, was that a Bureau brain or a controller brain? Either either one's a good. And the Bureau hand. Okay, so as I was saying, coming this way, I, I'm still a bit rattled from that. A Bureau is, is no joke. Okay, coming this way uh, avoids the bandit hideout completely. And also the bloodsucker in the hallway right after the bandit hideout. For those of you who haven't been here before, if you come in through the path they uh, that's that's marked uh, on your map, which is basically in the in the middle of the stalker base, also always take the stash. Uh, it's got some Strelok documents inside. But yeah, if you come here from there, uh, you will uh, end up right in the middle of a bandit hideout with like, uh, and not a lot, like six or seven bandits, but I mean, if you don't have a grenade, they can be problematic in such, such close quarters. So, you can just come down here. From behind and as you saw usually there's only like a, a blood sucker or sometimes there's you don't even need to fight but those those uh, guys you would have fought anyway even with the okay so here to avoid that anomaly we're gonna have to do a little weird jumpy jump there we go. Okay. And back up the stairs. Yeah, never go there. Unless you're you're way more geared than this. Yeah, Agroprom Underground is usually this this little part, this little mission is not hard. To do as you saw even with the little gear i have i was able to to do it pretty easily um just checking because there's sometimes sometimes there's freedom guys over here there he is professional hmm there another one? I think it's just that one. Do I want to fight him? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's give it a try. I do only have the the gun, the Colt. But maybe if we get a couple of good shots from behind. Oh, there's another one. Crap. Right. There may be a few more over there. Huh.
Uh, we got some good parts. Can't complain. Oh, calm down. We also, we already have an MP5 stashed back at the base, so I'm not gonna take this one. Though the parts will be really good for fixing our, our other weapon. And, uh... There may be more there. Ah, oh, we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Anomaly. So, let's get that stash over there. Cylinders over on the grave. I heard cats. And then we'll go back to, to the colonel and give him the documents. I'm gonna do a little quick save here, just in case. And then I think we could go to Yantar. And hopefully we'll get some... Uh... Okay, I definitely heard a cat that way. And someone fighting it. Okay, let's see. If he's an enemy, we can actually take advantage of... No, no, he's a friendly. I mean, I wouldn't mind if the cat got him. Just checking to see there aren't any freedom guys over there. No, I think we're good. Okay, although I... It's not really worth. Ooh! Nice! Three cats! Okay, um. Let's see if uh, they need anything. They're, they're asking for quite a lot. Pseudo giant eyes and <laughs> chimera parts. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Okay. Where was that? Um, way to the north, that way. I'm gonna keep out my detector. Maybe, maybe we'll find something around here. Dogmints are anomaly. Okay. Well, we're not a dog, so uh, we should be good. <laughs> Okay, so we got some meds, that's that's good. Alright, and let's let's just head back to uh, Let's just head back to the military base and turn in the other quest, which should give us enough money to uh get the Psy helmet. Alright, mission accomplished. Any more X18. Uh, yeah, we will do that sometime. X18 is in Dark Valley, and uh, first of all, getting there, this area is Boar Country. Here, there's a scientist, but there's also mercenaries, freedom, so you never know what you get. And this is the bandit base. So it's a bit risky even getting there. Uh, and then Laboratory X18, it's uh, it's not hard, but it's not easy either. Definitely not with the gear we have right now. Did I just see a green stash somewhere? Oh wow! Okay, and it's on the way too. Beautiful. Alright, so uh, I did end up leaving my uh, upgrade materials and um, most of the armor stuff 
just because uh, we don't really have an armor to upgrade right now. And the bullet making stuff back in this stash and we'll come back after it later. Um, and we're way pretty, pretty underweight so that's that's a good thing. That's a poltergeist. That took a lot of bullets. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go down the left side first. Just because I, I find it a bit easier to fight from there and uh yeah, there's there's a lot of mutants usually hanging around this this swamp part. So I'd prefer to be careful. While we were fighting that poltergeist, I I thought I heard the sound of um ghosts, you know, psychic ghosts being spawned. So I'm a bit worried about the Psy Sucker, maybe. Or a controller. Ugh. Though it can be something much, much milder, like, like a, um, a Karlik, for example. Where is that dash? Oh, okay, it's up here. Nice and easy. I mean, it's it's not bad. We got another upgrade. We got another basic toolkit. Pretty cool. Okay, off to Yantar we go. Okay, here we are, and I can already hear something running into an anomaly, so let's just make a rush for the base. Oh, a scientist fighting a snork. Um, I'll just grab my popcorn and uh, watch. Hands? No hands. Hmm. Bad. Is he still fighting the snork? Someone's fighting something, that's for sure. And yeah, I know there's a lot of radiation here. I, I thought snork hands are worth it. <laughs> okay. So oh, those are those guys are fighting something. Um Yeah, let's let's uh have some of these. Oh, there's a stash here too. Oh. Uh do you have anything? Do you want anything? Mm, no. I will ask about what he offers. Okay, and we'll do a quick tour around here. There's usually some stuff worth picking up.
it's not much, but it's uh, it's honest scrounging. <laughs> hey, where was this stash? Uh, was it here or was it on top? Because I always forget. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, less carry weight, but a bit more movement speed and a bit more BR class. Although our armor is upgraded a little bit. Hmm, is it worth it though? Um, you know what? Let's let's just grab it and. Uh, Oh, that's that's a bit heavy, and I'll I'll just drop it in that in this stash here inside, and we'll come back for it later. Do I drop the upgrades? No, I'll keep those. Okay, Professor, I'm I'm gonna sell all the artifacts I got. A little bit, and uh, Suppressor, yes. I know this isn't the best place to sell things, but I really want to get that... Uh, I really want to get that uh, Psy Helmet. So we ask about the Brain Scorcher, and uh, he tells us that the Psy Helmet is 30,000 rubles, and uh, back in the day, you were supposed to wait for it for like three or four days, but uh, now it's instant, and uh, it's so nice not having to to have to bother with it. Okay, um, disable the miracle machine. I I would prefer to have a little bit more gear before I do that. And even so, we're a little bit, still a little bit undergeared for my taste. So instead of um, going through wild territory, I think we'll just head on to garbage. I mean, we will go through wild territory, but I will head uh, to garbage from there. Uh, although this northern area is... Um, We have some clear sky guys here, but they're friendly with the mercenaries, so uh, I'm not sure the area is completely safe. So let's just head on to garbage and then back to Rostock. Yep, on we go. Actually, uh, we didn't check the missions here. Let's do a quick task board check. Hmm, recover cracking device in Great Swamps. No. Usually, uh, not usually, but sometimes this, these missions uh, bug out for me and I can't find the tracking device. Also, it's in the Great Swamps, so I just won't bother. Um, having this guy with us would actually give us a companion, like for free but um i don't want to lose a, a reputation when he dies and this sends me sends us back to agroprom underground which uh i think they i i haven't seen this mission before i will probably do it for the first time in a in a practice run not in the the iron man one um Okay, and this asks us to get a prototype detector back from garbage. We can do that one. Okay. Uh, fracture hand, pseudo giant eye. Dog meat. We can do dog meat. <laughs> lurker meat. Do we have a lurker meat? 
I know I killed a lurker at some point. Yes, we have exactly one lurker meat. Wait. Okay, uh, we definitely don't have two lurker tails. Do we? No, we only have one. Also don't have bloodsucker jaws, so... Or boar legs. Okay, we're, we're good. Let's just turn in what we have here. And we got a stash. Um, we might actually go and check those. And that's it. Let's see where it is. Um, that's behind the free garages. Yeah, we, we can actually do that. It shouldn't be far, and I don't think we'll meet anything bad on the way. Usually, this, this is a pretty small map, so... Uh, unless you go to places that are completely uninhabited, usually the scientists and the clear sky guys uh, clear everything up. Especially on the way to the plant, it's like full of patrols. So I don't expect to, to meet anything bad. Although this particular location, sometimes there is a controller or snorks or both. So do watch out for, for ghosts. Actually, uh, it doesn't even need... Huh. Oh, wow. Oh, but it's heavy armor. You know what? I'll, I'll take it. Because we're on the way home, and just in case we don't find something better, it's gonna be nice to have it. Uh, but I definitely won't go there. We could, but I'm not sure what's in the plant. Sometimes uh, there could be enemies, so... Um, most of the times it's just uh, loners and uh, scientists, but there are moments where there's either freedom over there, or uh, I've even seen mercs come down from Dead City through this uh, pass. Usually the snorks kill them. Okay, that was close. But we have another armor. Yeah, no, no, this this is enough. Let's not get greedy. I was thinking of getting the, the other armor from the stash. Okay, wild territory. Gonna move nice and slow over here. Sometimes there are mutants at this end of the tunnel. That's the entrance to garbage. Okay, and the package to deliver is actually uh, in Rostock, but again, I'm, I'm not taking the risk of going through here. Because there's, there's gonna be like 10 mercs to fight, so let's just move to garbage. Okay, let's see, I always forget where this takes me out. Over here. Okay, we can uh, give the documents back to this guy. We can go check that stash. And we'll come back for the, de the detector later, because uh, I'm not going to go back to Yantar, and that detector is usually pretty heavy. I hear there's already fighting going on. Um, it's probably at the checkpoint. And uh, we will also have to come back to the checkpoint after going to Rothstock to recover all our stuff that's stashed in there. But uh, I will probably do that uh, off-screen. Oh wow, a freedom guy killed our duty friends. So it's at this, at this point where I'm, I'm starting to consider taking a Hercules. Luckily, there there aren't any mutants here, because uh, boars would have uh, given me a lot of trouble. Okay, here we are. We get rid of a PDA, I guess. Ooh, 
Ah. For a moment, he gave me hope that maybe he'd join me. Okay. Um. Do we have anything to sell you? I'll sell these. And this and the rest I'll probably keep for uh, selling to a mechanic. Just because they have way better prices. And as for the mutant parts, yeah, I'm not selling those. It's just so convenient to have them on hand. So let's... Uh, I said we're gonna go south and visit the last stash, but I think we'll... I'll come back to that uh, a bit later. Just because we're already pretty overweight. And I don't really want to push my luck. There's a border. There's gonna be more coming. Ah, don't get in the way, you idiot. I, I hope the boars kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he got one. He got the flesh. Alright, oh, you're a hero, my friend. <laughs> but I do think there was another boar, unless he got that one too. Wow, I, I think he did. Okay, any artifacts around? No. Okay, you know what? That stash is right over the hill. Let's let's just go get it. I'll even gri grab a bite to eat on the way. I will still be careful though because there are bandits around here sometimes. We, we saw a patrol of them back in episode 2 when we got our, our advanced toolkit. Toolkit, sorry. Uh, so I got stuck in that little piece of, piece of metal. <laughs> okay, what do we have? I mean... It is an upgrade part, so a good upgrade part. Although we have went to red. So, you know what? I'll just uh, drink this Hercules. Because I also want to be uh, a little maneuverable. For when we get to the checkpoint, especially if there's freedom there. Let's check the tasks. Um... Don't have the flesh meat. Okay, nothing important. Okay, so. The freedom fighting duty over there got me a little bit worried. And I... I don't see anyone in the market.
with just a normal stalker. I mean a loner. Okay, and... Okay, there's duty there. So that means 100% the, the freedom guys are dead. Uh, let's see if we get to loot them. Let's see if any of these guys want to join us. Uh, well, we can also check the task board real quick. Um, no, not going to Zaton. And do we have six bandit patches? Yes, we do. Perfect. I'll turn that in right now. And we get some some little a little bit of loot. Hmm. No. Alright. Carabiner pieces are not bad. And was that another duty guy dead? We'll just take that as well. Ooh, there was a big fight over here. Anyone else? Just making sure. Okay. Uh, right? Oh, we got a stone blood artifact. Which is ra irradiating us a little bit, but... Uh, what you gonna do? <laughs> uh, we'll just have to take it for now. Okay, I'm just checking to see if anyone wants to join us. Not for money. I, I want them to do it from the goodness of their hearts. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll come back after these. Um, even so, I mean the stamina loss is not that bad, so we can actually do a little walk. Okay, so here we are back home. I dropped some of the stuff. I finished some of the smaller mission, and I actually found a friend. Two friends. <laughs> Alright, a professional and... Uh, I have no idea what that guy is. A craney. But still, that's two extra hands for me. Okay. And here we are back. Um, while off screen, I took the time to go back and recover our stuff from the stashes. I turned in a few of the quests we had, including... Uh, the living legend quests quest which uh, is to ask for information about Strelok from uh, the bartender um, we will have to continue our mission to the north uh, with all the stuff we got back I actually um, took the time to work on some stuff put some parts together and we ended up with an MP5 fully functional. We don't have a lot of bullets, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I'll actually sell that HP, sell that HP just because we we have the shotgun for that. All right, we managed to put together an SV98, uh, for which I also have just a few bullets, like 50, and uh, yeah, we we also. Uh, used pretty much all the money we got out of all the missions uh, to buy fixing material and uh, to, to fix up our weapons. Uh, I will actually have to take care of my armor as well and maybe uh, do some upgrades. Uh, I do have... Yeah, I'll... I'll actually deal with this later all right so um i'm gonna say this was quite a, a good run for today we started out from uh the great swamps we managed to finish the Skrelok hideout mission in the agroprom underground we got some more 
uh, stuff done, got some stashes, got our Psy Helmet, so the next thing we will do, we will have to do, is uh, go down into the Miracle Machine, and with the new things we have on us, hmm, I will probably try and farm a new armor, maybe go up to army warehouses first, or just... Uh, Arm the southern areas a bit more. I would prefer having a better medium armor uh, before going into the Miracle Machine. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Next episode, we will be arming for our armor to get to Miracle Machine. Just because uh, I, I don't think this is enough. And we will also have to upgrade our headgear to increase our Psy resistance a bit. But until then, I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time!